क्लिक द बेल आइकन टू गेट लेटेस्ट वीडियोज फ्रॉम ईकीडा हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई वेलकम यू ऑल टू दिस वीडियो हियर वी आर विद चैप्टर थ्री ऑफ माइक्रो इंजीनियरिंग अ फैमिली ऑफ माइक्रोवेव क्रॉस फील्ड ट्यूब्स वी आर लर्निंग सो द वेरी फर्स्ट ट्यूब द पॉपुलर वन सिलेंड्रिकल मैग्नेट्रॉन वी हैव सिलेक्टेड सो द सिलेंड्रिकल शेप्स ऑफ द कैथोड एंड द एनोड टर्मिनल्स आर देयर सो कैथोड इज इनसाइड द एनोड सिलेंडर एंड द एनोड इज हैविंग द कैबिटीज एसोसिएटेड विद इट्स पर्टिकुलर बॉडी now we have gone through the understanding of its particular operation and the very popular pi mode of oscillations when it is operated we have also studied in the previous video the cyclotron angular frequency with respect to the angular frequency of the field generated also we have seen now let us address the output power and efficiency of this device <music> so here we start with our topic output power and efficiency in cylindrical magnetron so now we have to address the two performance parameters output power and efficiency so i must get it clear that output power and efficiency both are depending on to the resonance circuit inside the structure of the particular device and the dc power supplied to it so to look at the resonant cavities so in the previous video i have already cleared it at that we have capital n number of cavities inside the anode body so here for one resonant circuitry the equivalent circuitry can be drawn in terms of the conductance values the inductance values the capacitance values so that circuit i first of all draw so here on this particular left hand side we can show the admittance the admittance can be denoted here y sub x e and now from these two nodes we can have the equivalent circuit structure here so now there it will be the capacitance very first of all so we mark here capital c and across these two terminals there it is the voltage the voltage denoted by capital v here next to the capacitance we have the inductance the inductor can be denoted by capital l here then we can have for the resonator the conductance denoted by g sub x r the conductance of the resonator then again we have the two node points and at last the net conductance can be shown here so let us say it is named simply as g here the nodes can be marked as capital a to a dash capital b to capital b dash here so the equivalent circuit is in between a to b and a dash to b dash here that has the capacitance inductance and the conductance here so here we can say that this much of portion is of the electron beam this much of portion is of the load here and the interior portion that is of more importance to us that is called as resonator now for any resonator any resonator body there it is the quality factor with respect to the resonance here the quality factor is generally denoted by capital q and it is basically the ratio how much energy is stored into the resonator with respect to the energy dissipated here so now there are various conditions with respect to this quality factors so very first of all we take the consideration of the unloaded cavity here so therefore we must say the quality q is unloaded hence q suffix un can be denoted here and to see the equivalent circuitry where we have shown the net conductance per unit length for the resonator the conductance inside the resonator that is denoted by g sub x r here therefore we can have the relation that is omega 0 in multiplication to c here the capacitance divided by g sub x r here so here omega 0 can be simply written in terms of 2 pi f0 where it is the operating resonant frequency here and therefore omega 0 becomes the 
angular resonant frequency here. Now, as this is the unloaded quality factor, let us name it with the equation number one here. Similarly, we can have the external quality factor that we can denote at Q suffix EX here. So Q suffix EX can be given by formulation omega zero in multiplication to C divided by G suffix L. So G suffix L is the conductance of the loaded cavity here. So this is the difference as we switch from first equation to let us see this is second equation. This formulation is also very very important based on to this formulations we can make the calculations of quality factors at different conditions. So as we have seen the formulation with respect to the unloaded and the external quality factors we can have a simple formulation with respect to the loaded conditions. So for the loaded condition we can denote the quality factor Q suffix L and it will be simply omega 0 in multiplication to the capacitance C divided by the addition of GR with that of GL here. So GL is for the loaded cavity the conductance and this is the conductance of the resonator. So both are taken together for the case of loaded quality factor we outline this and give the next equation number that is equation number three. Now the second part of the title that we can address that is the efficiency. So for the device we can say that the circuit efficiency can be denoted as eta suffix C here and it will be in terms of the loaded conductance and the resonator conductance here it will be the ratio of GL divided by GL added with GR here or we can also express the circuit efficiency eta C as the ratio of GL divided by G EX for the external or in terms of quality factors we can also express it as 1 divided by 1 plus it will be QEX that you can relate to the second equation divided by Q suffix UN for the unloaded condition that we have expressed in equation number 1. So let us outline these equations and combinedly the circuit efficiency can be given by equation number 4 here. So to look at these particular equations we can conclude that the maximum circuit efficiency can be obtained when the device is heavily loaded. So the condition we can simply write in terms of GL very very greater than GR here but if we can have heavy loading so that time the device also becomes very very sensitive. So it should be done with the care of another parameters. So after circuit efficiency the another type of the efficiency must be addressed. The another type of efficiency is called as electronic efficiency and it can be denoted as eta suffix E. So eta suffix E can be formulated as capital P suffix GEN divided by capital P suffix DC. So here P suffix GEN shows us the RF power that is induced into the anode circuitry here whereas P suffix DC is the simple multiplication of V0 and I0 where V0 is the anode voltage and I0 is the anode current here. So to substitute the P suffix GEN and P suffix DC here we can have simply V0 I0 minus P suffix lost here divided by V0 I0. So the DC supplies of the current and the voltage are simply PDC here and whatever is induced inside the anode circuitry it will be obtained by this particular input minus the losses here. So P suffix lost accounts for the power lost into the anode circuitry here. So the electronic efficiency we outline here. And the next equation number can be given as equation number 5 here. Now taking the condition of capital N number of resonators as we have already shown into the previous case that is 8 cavities we have considered and the pi mode of oscillations in the terms of diagram we have shown the electron path. 
so we can select capital n number of cavities therefore capital n number of equivalent resonator circuitry is there it will be along with in the equivalent circuitry we have shown capital v as the voltage across the resonator gap here so considering these two parameters we can express the induced p that is p suffix g e n given as that we have already written as v0 i0 minus p lost so by the next step we can express it as v0 i0 minus here the p loss can be given as i0 in multiplication to m divided by twice e into omega 0 square divided by beta square added with e max square divided by capital b sub x z square so here beta is the phase shift constant whereas beta z denotes the magnetic flux density that is perpendicular to the orientation of the electron path so here we have selected the z to be the direction hence the magnetic flux density is denoted as bz here e max is the maximum of the electric field generated between the two electrodes and further by the next step we can also express this induced power p suffix g e n will be equal to here we have 1 by 2 times capital n into mod of capital v square into omega 0 into the capacitance c divided by the loaded quality factor so i outline this formulation above formulation also we can make the use of let us say this is equation number six so in the equation number six the second step that we have expressed capital E suffix max. The E suffix max can also be expressed as E max given as capital M1 in multiplication to the mod of the voltage at the resonator gap capital V divided by capital L. So capital L is the spacing between the two resonators when taken from the mid positions here. Whereas capital M1 capital M1 can be computed as sine of here we have beta suffix n into del divided by 2 divided by beta suffix n into del divided by 2 here. So this is mostly equal to 1 for the small values of the skin depth del used into the resonator body here. So this where the equation number let us say 7 and equation number 8. Finally, using all these factors, we can also express the induced power into the new equation form. Hence, P generated can be given as capital N L square omega 0 into the capacitance C divided by twice capital M1 square into the loaded quality factor Q sub X L into here we have e max that is squared here so this will be the new equation number equation number 9 i outline the formulation for p generated here power generated and the last equation can be given in terms of the efficiency the electronic efficiency it is eta suffix e so as it is the ratio of p generated to the pdc here which is a product of v0 and i0 we can express it as the numerator is having 1 minus m into omega 0 square divided by twice into e v0 into beta square whereas the denominator is given as 1 plus here we have capital i0 into m into capital m1 square the loaded quality factor divided by the magnetic flux density component vz into e the n number of resonant circuitries inside the anode body into capital L square the spacing between the same in multiplication to omega 0 into C here. So this will be the last equation equation number 10 with this equation also we can have the determination of the electronic efficiency. So with this knowledge we shall be addressing into the next lecture the problem number two based on to the cylindrical magnetron working as oscillator. 
so i hope you are getting the details of microwave engineering very well so for more information like this you can subscribe to ekeda channel thank you